Here's a couple of tips that you might find useful when working with data in QGIS, whether it's NBA data or other data. So if I open the GitHub repository where I got the data from, and the link is in the description, and I was to download 2004 shot data, I click on the link, and then I can click there to download it, and then add it in, I will show you what happens. So I'm gonna click on this add data button, delimited text is the format, so I'm gonna to browse to where I've saved it. And let me just find the folder. Okay, I've selected the 2004 shot data. I'll click open. And just like in the previous video, when I show how to get the CSV data in, the location X and location Y columns, they match the X and Y fields. The geometry coordinate reference system is this one, 4326. And if I go along to game date, it recognizes that not as a date, but as a text string. If I change that to date and import it, it's not going to work because QGIS expects the date to be in a certain format. There are different ways you can get around this, but I'm going to show you how to format a date in QGIS using an expression. This is just a useful skill to have. So what I'll do now is I won't change anything here. I'm just going to click add and we'll get the shot data in and then we'll close this. So the shot data is going to load in. So I'll do a couple of things. I'll sort out the date and I'll save this from CSV to a different format that will probably run much more quickly on your computer. So I'm going to right click and go to open attribute table. You can also hit the F6 key. All I'm doing here is opening the data table associated with the points and that's the CSV in this case. If I look at the game date column, it looks okay, but if I close that and then right click the layer and filter it, and go to game date. So I'll double click game date to put it in the expression box. I can do more than, and if I hit all, what I'll see is it is going to list it. So January the second lists all the dates in January. So what I want to do is I scroll through here and see all the different dates, but I can see it's just sorting it like alphanumerically. If I want to display only data for games after the, let me say December the 31st, so everything in 2004, that would be the expression I would typically use if the date was formatted correctly. So what I should get is all games where the date is 2004, so from January the 1st onwards. But if I click OK on that, what I actually get is nothing. So sometimes you get this problem, dates are always an issue in different pieces of software, but we can fix this. So I'll hit the expression filter button there. I'll clear that expression and I'm going to go to OK. And the reason it doesn't work is because if I double click on the actual name of the layer in the layers panel and then it opens layer properties and I go to fields, I can see that the game date is stored as text. It's just a string. So let's fix this. Let's open the attribute table. You can hit F6 or open attribute table button or right click and open attribute table. So what we'll do here is we'll create a new column and it's going to have the date formatted correctly. Then we're going to export this to a new layer using SQLite. I'm going to click the little abacus button that opens the field calculator. And what I want to do here is create a new field. I'll use all caps because that's the format the data uses. I'll call it date format. The output field type is going to be a date. Now what I need to do here is I do want to use the game date column because that has the date information, but it's not in the order QGIS expects it. And I already wrote this expression. I'll explain it in a second, but I'm going to copy it from the notepad. And it's also in the video description. So what format QGIS expects is it expects the year first, then the month, then the day. So I'm extracting four characters from the right of the game date column. In this case, 2004, you can see. I'm putting a dash in the middle. Then I'm extracting the two left characters from the game date column. 
in this case that would be the month and then i'm using the substring function s-u-b-s-t-r to take some characters out of the game date column so it starts at character number four and it gives me two characters that's what this does i'm just reordering it from month day year as it is to year month day so if i click ok on this i'm making sure the output field type is date and click ok what's going to happen is qgis is going to create a new column all the way along to the right my computer is quite fast it's pretty quick if your computer is not so powerful it will take a moment or so so we have a new column here and that's fine but one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on this layer i'm going to go to export and save features as and there's loads of different formats you can save to in qgis geo package esri shape file you've got geo json so on but we're going to use sqlite or sqlite and that's going to speed it up when we're doing queries and filtering stuff. It'll just make it a bit faster. Other formats will do that too, but I like to use this format when I'm querying these kind of data sets, particularly if I've got all the MBA data, where there's about 4 million. So I'll choose that. I'm going to click the browse button to save it to a location on my computer. Here's the folder I'm going to put it in. I'll just call it NBA short. or let me call it MBA 20 2004 shots and I'll click save but one more thing before I go and click OK I I'm just going to give the layer name the same name as a file name it doesn't really matter I just like to keep things neat and tidy keep the CRS as it is what I want to do is I want to remove the old game date because that's stored as text and if we scroll down to the bottom we'll see the new date format column which has got the game date that is a date and then i can click ok and because i've got the add saved file to map button ticked it's going to add all the new data points so it's just a different format i'm no longer pulling it in from the csv i've created something that's much more like a database Sometimes when you do this, you will see a little question mark saying no coordinate reference system set. That's not an issue. If you, it's not a big deal. It's in the right place. If I click that, I can always choose the correct one, which is EPSG 4326. It's kind of irrelevant in this case, though, because it works fine. Then we have all the points. Mine have added as a horrible brown color, so I can double click it if I want to. Go to symbology. Change it to, I don't know, this red color. Change the opacity drag and drop it across and click OK and then you know we can see that quite easily I'll right click I'll filter it and let's go to player name double click player name equals click all and let's type in Shaquille O'Neal double click and click OK now when I query this it is working much faster than when I'm using the CSV so if I click OK there we get where Shaq shot the ball from in 2004. I will quickly add in, while I've paused this, I'll quickly add in the NBA court. And anyone who knows anything about basketball will realize that's pretty typical of Shaq's shooting distribution in 2004. So there's a couple of tips there, how to sort out the date format. That's kind of useful in general when working with data. There's a little expression there, that's in the description. And then also about exporting to different formats. In GIS software, we typically use Shapefile or GeoPackage or GeoJSON, but being familiar with some of the different formats like SQLite is pretty useful. And for querying large data sets, it can be a lot faster. So hopefully that will be useful as you do your own work. And that's all for now.